Welcome Libra to your weekly love reading for March 5th to the 11th for 2018. All right, so this will be a 10 card help to cross spread for you. Right, we want to see what might be coming in, how you might respond, and what your partner might be up to, and some other energies. Right, so energies for Libra in love, March 5th to the 11th for 2018. So we do have the Two of Cups. This is coming up for a lot of people. Um, I believe Aries had this, and it could be mm, not the other sign that had it, but the Two of Cups is here, and this is usually the Soulmate card, um, where two people are destined to experience a relationship with one another, um, but there could be a lot of um, deeper issues that need to be resolved first, maybe from the past, moving on from an older relationship, um, different spiritual experiences that you have to with this person dreams synchronicities running into them seeing you know different cars with uh, a certain license plate number um, a lot of different things that let you know that something is there between you and someone else all right could be a water sign Pisces Scorpio or cancer and the page of cups is here and this is where you may be starting this newer relationship with this person and again the synchronicities that are coming about running into this person at different times uh this person inviting you to go out and hang out with them through different parties it could be um, this person has a child and sometimes you may resist getting into that relationship because of children but this may be a happy experience for some of you um there could be the birth of a new child pregnancy as well but different invitations where you are um going to maybe a social event and your romantic partner is there with you so all right and we do have the ace of swords so coming through with some kind of truth um, letting you know the truth about someone it being the cat is out of the bag so to speak so i feel like a lot of you are either speaking letting someone know the truth about something that has been hidden or kind of swept under the rug and i feel like this is um a new beginning and a new start with maybe a soulmate so a lot of you may be experiencing some good things this week all right the recent past is the hermit so the hermit is usually where the universe says that you have to take some time to breathe, take some time to maybe meditate because you are stressed out um, because of a decision that has brought you down. You see how this is kind of gray and this is like seeking that inner light and guidance from spirit to figure out if you made the right decisions or choices or what to do now. And as this week unfolds, I feel like it looks like a lot of things are lifting up, going in a better direction. You have the two of swords here. So the ace of swords and the, the two of swords is, you know, first you got the ace. And that's usually about you thinking or having an opportunity to communicate some kind of truth or accept a truth that comes towards you from someone else. And this is uh, trying to figure out whether or not you want to be with this person, if you want to open up to this person. That's why the hermit was there, you know, introspection. So this is still maybe um, kind of carrying over this week. So with that two being there, the two of cups, you got the two of swords. So it does indicate a decision that many of you are making whether or not to commit to be in a relationship to literally commit to that person where you two marry one another, so to speak, uh, if not literally, um, spiritually or being with one another through contract or say we are together kind of thing. And we do have the magician in reverse. Now, this could be in areas that you are dealing with. So for some of you. This is that person coming through and may they may not be very honest with you. You might not be very honest with this person. So someone could be manipulating a situation and it could be kind of keeping things hidden still um, where there are secrets. There are maybe a relationship that is there, but it's not out in the open just yet. Um, and this person could be kind of hiding this new beginning from you. It's there but they could be kind of keeping it away from you or you're keeping it away from someone else. Um, it just depends, all right? And your energy though is the eight of wands in reverse. So this is your response. So you could be either telling someone I'm not ready. Um, you could be cutting ties with a certain person before you are to get into this newer relationship. But for many of you, you may shut down communication completely, block somebody, um, you know, don't return a phone call, you know try to you may even shut down your social media or something like that because you don't want to deal with certain things it just depends so there are issues where you just kind of stop communicating how you feel 
maybe say something and then that's it kind of thing all right now how others are seeing you the six of wands is in reverse so they do see that you would like that attention that affection um that joy um or celebration from your partner where you want to win win you want to you know hold hands with them be out there with them you know in the world so that it can see that you are a unit but that may not be happening right now so some of you may be kind of entertaining others you may be kind of um whatever it is to pull another person to you you put that out there so many of you are having some issues maybe with the confidence right now in that relationship now what your partner might be up to if you're dealing with somebody the three of swords is here so they are heartbroken by you um they could be heartbroken themselves because they've disappointed you and the fact that someone has made a certain decision when it comes here i feel like you will be making that or you have already made it in that reality of the separation between you two is heartbreaking so sometimes it may feel like um your partner is going through something that's very private for some of you out there and they may not be able to give you what you want and that hurts them as well so i feel like they know um they know how you might be feeling and i feel like you know how they are feeling as well for some of you out there it just depends what that three of swords is about we'll see and money issues um the outcome for some of you are having issues with financial security um maybe children are there you have two children showing up but being rejected or declined uh, when it comes to applications you know finding new jobs uh, new career opportunities so you may have a goal you may have a, a big dream that's trying to manifest into your life but these are some issues so working on your health working on your confidence and maybe even schooling something like that is potentially going on but some obstacles are there um and let's i want to clarify the three of swords for your partner clarify three of swords for libra's partner Yeah, they are moving on. All right, they're stressed out, sad about something as they walk away. Um, three by the three of swords for Libra's partner. Whoa. Okay, and they may be disappointed right now and saddened by certain things because they are focused on career. They're working. They're trying to stay motivated and maybe heal if they have separated from you or another person. And it's like I can't be with you right now because I have to work. All right. I'm busy doing that right now so some of you may be very frustrated and that could be the underlying issue that you either know about or don't really understand just yet so your partner could be going through some uh, deeper emotional things all right so let's see messages for Libra for March 5th to the 11th for 2018 pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you when you do have doubt about a certain person, if you do feel like you're manipulated or if you've been done wrong and which is bringing you to communicate how you feel about something and then making it a the judgment call from what you have experienced with this person and not continuing to be disappointed or having to go through these issues over and over again. So that doesn't automatically say leave that person be, shut them down for good, but it does tell you to be aware of uh, the constant issues that repeat and cycles that you want to get away from and end all right so let's see messages for Libra for March 5th to the 11th Libra. unrequited love it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going many of you are it's definitely something where you're trying to end something and you're trying to make a conscious choice about this and if you feel this energy here if you've been going around and around the circles with someone for maybe two years uh, three years or whatever and nothing is really working that's how you know it's maybe a cat and mouse game uh, a lot of manipulation going on with that particular person someone else could all be in a relationship already and you still could be waiting for this person to open up to you to um, let you know that you're the one that they want like making a choice or something like that so there may be some doubts and frustration so you really do have to ask your question um ask the question about um whether or not this is something for you you know these two cards are very uh, tense so um, a lot of you may understand what this is uh, leaving someone so that you can actually commit to the person that the universe kind of wants you to be with with the soulmate energy here uh, for many of you out there so um 
those are your messages for the week these are general in nature so they may not resonate exactly with your particular situation but if you would like a private or personal reading you can go to the website psychicclovehills.com to schedule something for you okay so have a good one